I can't. She won't get far. Put Not other people here. in bad places. I'm just. I don't have it in me. He's my brother. I wasn't finished. <laughs> when you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. Are they gonna make him? He won't live much longer. I need to see him. Is he in there? There's a reason I wanted to talk to you. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The nightshade. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. You're the only one who can. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. Okay. So suddenly she wants us to end his suffering. And I'm worried they will turn him into one of these things. Whoa. What are you doing? I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. That's between me and Cotter. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> oh. <laughs> You? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. Cut is a fighter. Always has been. I can see that. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove, forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. <sighs> Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. 
give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. It's beating heart. This is madness. Not madness. Necessity. Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> for the North Grove. Already. Garrett. <laughs> Can't take it any longer. And his son. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Oh my god. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. Out there, you saw what's possible. Yeah, I think. Fucking hell, we need. If we can make her stronger, but if we... Ritual, and we can prepare for the coming winter. How can I decide this? I mean... She wanted me to use the nightshade, but I... This feels so wrong, but at the same time... We might need it. This is just... For the coming winter, I... Is this some, you know, season 2 bullshit that if I don't give him... If I use the blood magic, things will be better? Later or next season or oh my god No, he was my friend He helped me he protected me. This is the least I can do for him even if I fuck myself over later on Don't worry Sorry, Carter but I can't do it. Carter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. Oh. Sleep well, Carter. Your watch has ended. Fulgorn Vice and Air. We must burn the body. Oh, my God. Your fighters are in place. Keep the White Hills calm, and as soon as they're all seated, give the signal to strike. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. And I think if I play along too much... Gwyn. Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester. My apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asha. She's gonna try to find out if it's gonna be an ambush or something. 
You're his spy, aren't you? I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. Things are different now. I'm different now. But you have nothing to worry about. You are always a terrible liar. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive, no hidden agenda. Just peace, once and for all. I trust you, Gwyn. I know you've lost a lot, and... And I'm sorry, but things will get better. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick. He knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. I promise. I'm oh, sorry, Gwyn. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Asher. I knew I could trust you. No, you can't. Sorry to intrude, my lord. Your family's dead to but me. Lady Forrester is in need of your help. Of course. I should go. Thank you, Asher. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord, it's all that came to mind. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ambush is still on. Ready the men. Consider it done, my lord. Hello, fatty. Ah, uh, Gwyn is here as well. Lovely. Elisa, I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Mother! <gasps> oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Enough blubbering. Have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher, now who'd ever have imagined this? You welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. Let's get on with this. What's the hurry? We'll be spending the rest of our lives together. As family. You're not my family, Lord. And you'll never be mine! If I wasn't so bloody soft-hearted... Father, please. I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye. And get us something to eat! I'm bloody starving! Hopefully, if we can get we them to drink some. We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. It's just a chair. By all means, sit in it if it makes you feel important. What? How dare you? You think you have any power here? 
What will it take for you to learn to show respect? How many more foresters do I have to kill? Calm down, father. Ash has been amongst the sellswords so long, he's forgotten how to behave. Teach him some manners, then. Deep breaths. Rather odd that Talia's not here, isn't it? And your banner men look a little tense. What are you playing at, Forrester? Something's not right. I can feel it. You're paranoid, Lord. It's just your imagination. I know what I see. Don't play games with me, Forrester. See? That's the trouble with you, Foresters. No manners. At least Roderick had enough decency to carry a proper conversation. Maybe I should have kept him alive after all. Not yet. Not yet. Sit down, Forrester. Father, please. Perhaps we should have more wine. I've had enough fucking wine. <laughs> okay. They betrayed us. <laughs> Not my choice then. Ryan! Go, Bashka. Oh, fuck yeah. Kick the table. Just flip it. E. Okay, hi. E. Let's dance. Quick! Don't let him escape. I won't let him escape. Oh, that's a good hit. Forest of scum. You're the fucking scum here. Fuck, Lud is gonna get away. Please. Stay down! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> yep! It could have been so different, but you destroyed everything! Goodbye, Asha. I need Lord. I need Lord. It's a trap! They tried to kill us! Kill them all! Kill the fucking foresters! Take down the gate! We can't fight that many! We're doomed! You can if fight. We reach the gate we're done for! We can't fight the entire White Hill Army! My lord, your wound. Get them to safety. Of course. But I won't abandon you, not again. Please, mother. And the gate. We have to retake the gate. Retake the gate. Watch out! This is the war you promised, Mr. Rossi. It's 
not over yet. To Asha. Here we go. Thank you. Fuck you, lad. Shields. Well, they don't. Push that motherfucker. Push that fucking card. This is it, Lord. It's not then. Asher Forrester. You've come a long way to die. Swipe the legs of the horse. Or just do that. Got a good armor, boy. Let's see you live up to your reputation. Someone help Bashka, someone! Let go of my son! Fuck! Die! Strike him! Fucking kill him! Chop his fucking head off. Damn! I had a 
feeling this was coming all along. Damned if I let another lord die on my watch. Thank you. You must survive, Asher. For the house. For all of us. Go! No! What happened with... Talia. I have no clue what happened with Pashka, Talia, and Ryan. thing. I did what I had to do. She was your friend. At least she seems to be understanding. Goodbye, Carter. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter is coming. And we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how he's forced her fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forrester is the right thing to do. No. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. You will stay here. He told me the North Grove can never fall. I will respect Lord Gregor's dying words. The North Grove will never be lost while we breathe. We will defend it. a reason for it. What's gonna happen to, with Mira? In the name of the king, I hereby sentence you to death. <sighs> Keep your head high. Bring forth the next prisoner! Be 
This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer. Kill her! She's innocent! A disgrace to her family no! name! Spare her! Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, End I sentence you to die. Shame! Raven! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame! speak them now. She's innocent! Shame! Get on with it. A brave woman! A noble death! She's innocent! Spare her! Kneel! Dragon, please. House Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. And then after that whole business with Tyrion, I thought she knew how to stay loyal when it mattered. But then there was that day when she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help, when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam. But I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before her day was out, a brother was dead atop the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I'd offended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. 
Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff Whitehill beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. Needless to say, I wasn't too impressed. And I was hardly surprised to hear he didn't last long. The savior who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. And he impressed me. He followed my every command, despite what it cost him with his companion. For that, he earned my help and my respect. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I think... In the end, Mira came to understand that, Grandmother. She could so easily have turned on Sarah to protect herself. But instead, what she did, it took grace. If you're fierce enough, you leave King's Landing with your honor intact. Mira proved that. But at so high a cost. Well, 78.3%. I could have told you the story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They were passionate. I'll give them that. But they were ruled by their whims. Impetuous when they should have been shrewd. Noble and just to the end, but weak. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. Nine percent fought with fierce passion. <sighs> Never surrender. Yeah, I run boats. My lord. Really? We haven't much time. You betrayed us. They may have won this battle, but they will not win the war. Why would you help me now? Oh, good, Ryan made it. Oh, Lord. You and 69.8 told Marjorie the truth and were dismissed. You and 78.3% refused to marry Morgan. You and 51.3% gave Cotter the a merciful death. 43.8% ambushed Lord Whitehill. 40.2% stayed to defend the North Grow. So most people actually went back. Hmm. Wow, what an ending. And as I had a feeling, Season 2 is going to come out sometime later. 
and I'm looking quite forward to it. I know most people tend to say they didn't care about game, you know, this game, T Telltale's Game of Thrones, compared to, you know, The Walking Dead and The Wolf Among Us, and also Tales from the Borderlands that. It some people actually were surprised about how good it was now that it is finished but I still enjoy this one I just love the whole you know fantasy setting in Westeros and all that so I really quite enjoyed it and all the intrigues and the war yeah it's it's good. Even though I didn't feel that it was, I don't know, <laughs> as I suspected during the beginning of the episode, that a lot of people probably would die, and I was, I was right. So I think, though, the most heart-wrenching for me was actually to see their mother get stabbed. That doesn't sit right with me. Don't like it. Oh well, I guess that's it. We'll just have to wait and see when season number two gets out. It's gonna take a while and I will probably forget everything that has happened before then. But until then, take care and happy gaming. Bye bye.